Yo, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy Liam's Ghosts. Um, to those of you who know who I am, you guys are probably reading this title like, yo, what is this guy doing? This is so out of left field. To those who don't know who I am, I'm a vape YouTuber. I review vapes on YouTube, mostly disposables, which happen to be usually 5%, also 50 milligram. And I'm puffing on those all day. So basically what I'm saying is that I am probably a maximum level of addiction possible when it comes to nicotine. I am probably one of the most nicotine addicted humans in history. Is it a bad thing? Yeah, probably. But it's not usually a problem for me because I always have as many disposables as I'd ever want. But today I am in Veradero, Cuba on vacation. And I know that vapes were banned here, but I still tried to bring some in and I failed and I got them confiscated. So I needed to think of a new plan. Turns out Cuba is one of the biggest tobacco producers in the entire world. So cigarettes, very easy to get your hands on. Um, I have two different packs of cigarettes we're gonna be trying out today. And you know what, maybe I'll like them, you know? So we got the Rothmans of London, 1890. Now this seems to be the standard cigarette that you're gonna get at the resort. Um, when I went to the tobacco shop, it was $5 for the pack. And I'm gonna show you guys the other pack later. I also got a local Cuban cigarette that we're gonna be checking out as well. But the Rothmans of London, 1890 senses ice. So this is gonna be a menthol cigarette. Um, it's got some Spanish on the back here. I don't speak Spanish, so I have no idea what it says. My friend James said that you have to think about your family and your kids. I don't have any kids, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, this is not a full pack, as you can tell, because I have already been smoking them. So it's not my first time smoking a cigarette, but it's my first time smoking a cigarette on YouTube, which I think is basically the same thing. So let's open this pack up and let's take a closer look at what one of these cigarettes is gonna look like. So right off the bat, it's got that ice. It says on the side, it says Rothmans again. It's got their little labeling here. Looks like a pretty good cigarette if you ask me. Um, I don't know a ton about cigarettes. I know that there's uh, tobacco in here. This is the filter. It's basically it. So let's light this thing up and give it a try. I'll give you guys my first impressions and we'll see. We'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. I have to remember not to try to smoke a cigarette like a um, joint because when I every time I smoke something that's like this, usually it's going to be a joint and I'm going to hold like this. But that doesn't really work for cigarettes or I guess it does work, but you, you don't look like you know what you're doing. So you got to do the two handed method or the two finger method here. And then you, this is what I've been told is you, you ash it like this, give it a little smack. Or the joint, I usually go like this, right? It's like, but anyways. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's super smooth. It's got that nice menthol taste. It honestly kind of reminds me of like a tobacco menthol vape, which is probably just because that's what they're trying to recreate here. But I do really quite like these. Now, do I prefer them over vapes? No, but am I going to take this over nothing all day, any day? Now, it's my third day out here in Cuba. Um, the first two days, it was so sunny and beautiful. So I spent most of the day out at the beach, at the pool, out in the town. And I wanted to film the video on the first day, but it was just like I was having like a bit too much of a good time and I was drinking the entire time. So I didn't want to film a video when I was drunk, even though that'd probably be hilarious. Maybe I should make like a little day vlog out here, but for this video, I didn't want to be drunk. So today, crappy day out. I actually went and hit the gym at the resort very interesting gym very small everything was in kilos but it's cool it had like a old school gym kind of vibe to it which i like you guys see how i'm automatically resorting or yeah, going back to this strat i need to stop doing that but this is honestly a delicious cigarette cuba has some of the finest tobacco in the entire world and i do very much quite enjoy it now I did bring a water bottle. I came prepared. We got the Ciego Montero. Uh, looks pretty good. They give us one bottle of water every single day, a liter and a half to share between me and my buddy James. Um, we brought a Camelback filtered by Life Straw so we can drink the water out of the tap 
and that's honestly kind of saved because I don't think a liter and a half of water, even just for one person is enough. I think you're supposed to drink at least two liters a day. I like to drink three or four liters a day. I like to, you know, keep the uh, organs lubed up, but this works just fine. Um, now, while I'm finishing this cigarette, I'm gonna show you guys the, um, the popular cigarette for the locals. Now, I actually bought this off a bathroom attendant for $2 USD, which I think is a pretty good deal, but Last time I was in Cuba, um, it was when I was uh, 17 years old. I ran into a very similar problem where I couldn't vape, right? So what I did was I bought cigarettes from the store there too. And it was crazy because I bought a carton of these cigarettes for $3. So that's 10 packs, that's 200 cigarettes for $3. And they had them in a vending machine. So like, I didn't even need to talk to anybody, which is amazing. I told James all about that. I was like, don't worry that we lost the vapes. It's all gonna work out because the cigarettes are super cheap, cheap here. Like they're like 30 cents a pack, like it's no big deal. So when we came here and it was $5 for a pack, I was like, yo, that is ridiculous. $5 for a pack, are you kidding me? I was like, that is literally more than 10 times what it was when I came here. Like obviously, you know, the economy changes inflation, but that just seemed a little ridiculous. So I was like, let's try like a couple of the other resorts. Let's like go for a walk. And we tried a couple other resorts. It was like a flat rate. This was the only cigarettes that they had. They didn't even have the other ones and they were five dollars and they said it's the same all across and for me that wasn't gonna work that wasn't gonna cut it i bought the one pack for the five dollars because i mean what are you gonna do but i ended up buying another pack i think i got this one for three dollars so i had bring i brought the price down a little bit um doing a little bit of haggling but i was still not happy with that i was like i'm probably gonna smoke a pack a day so i need at least because I'm gonna be here for seven days, I'm gonna need at least seven packs of cigarettes. And that's not including if James is gonna smoke, which he has been, he just started smoking. Um, he's probably smoked 45 cigarettes since we've been here. So I said, let's go into town and let's see if we can meet some locals and try to get our hands on some. So we're walking down into the downtown Veradero. See this really sketchy looking group of people. I know you shouldn't judge like that, but trust me, if you saw them, you'd be like, okay, these guys are kind of sketchy. But anyways, I was like, yo, let's sit down at the table across from them and just chill and i was like i bet you they'll come up to us literally two minutes later one of them comes up he like grabs my lighter starts like messing around with it and i was like hey man how's it going start engaging in a conversation and that's when i pulled out the pack of cigarettes and i said you know where i can get these and he's like from me and i was like oh okay i was like how much if i buy 10 packs and he's like 40 dollars and I was like, can you do 20? Because I paid $3 for a card in last time I came here. So I was like, that's still like a really good deal, right? Like, or, or it's good for him, I think. But he was like 30. And I said, I'll do 20 or it's fine, whatever. He sold me the 10 packs for $20. So we're set for the whole trip. But I still wanted to get my hands on the other cigarette, the popular cigarette. We're about, I'd say we're about done this one. So I'm going to ask this one out. But as I was saying, I wanted to get the Cuban cigarettes. I wanted to show James the Cuban cigarettes. So I found this, that bathroom attendant and I bought this pack of it off for, for ten, uh, $2. Now, this is the, like I said, the most popular cigarette for locals. It is literally called popular uh, Fresco Sabor de Cuba. Probably said that wrong. Um, on the back here as well, it's got some sort of warning. I'm not sure what this one says. Maybe someone can translate it for me. On the side, it's got a little barcode. On this side, it shows the nicotine content. Uh, it says uh, 0, 0,7 milligrams. So I guess that's 0 0.7 milligrams. I'm used to 50 milligrams. So I probably would have to smoke 20 of these at once to achieve the same head rush. Just kidding. It's definitely not how it works. Uh, these ones look a little bit different. They got the, the brown kind of filter on it, the tan filter on it. They got that green wrap on it. Now these cigarettes are a lot stronger. These ones give you a really good throat burn. It honestly, has kind of been helping me with the weed withdrawal symptoms. And if you smoke weed every day, you know that you kind of do get minor withdrawal symptoms, not nearly as bad as any other drugs, but they are there. So having these to smoke on and get like a little lung punch is nice because these ones are just so, they're so smooth, which is not a bad thing. I mean, I would prefer to smoke one of these in the morning when I just wake up because it's like smoking a cigarette in the morning is like one of those things, you know, where you probably want it to be smooth. You don't want to, it's not like hitting a vape. I don't know, but anyways, we're going to try out the popular uh, cigarette in Cuba and let you guys know how it is. Right off the bat, man, it hits 
it hits your entire throat like like it literally punches your throat man if you guys are ever in cuba and you're wanting to get a good strong cigarette this is literally feels like a cigar hitting smoking a cigar but in a cigarette form because the tobacco is just so pungent and powerful and you literally want to smoke it like a joint too man I like how we kind of got that background music going. I hope that you guys can hear that. But like right over there, there's a stage where they're playing music pretty much all the time. And I thought that I might as well do it out on the patio so then we could get like a little bit of the, you know, the birds chirping and that kind of thing. I actually did try to film this video yesterday, but the problem was it was way too windy. So then I went to film it inside because you could smoke inside your hotel room, which is absolutely insane. Like it's not something you'd even really want to do but you can. So I was like, I guess I'll try filming it inside. I'm like smoking it inside for like two minutes. And it's like, it already stunk so bad in our room. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this. We got to wait for a better day. And you know, this is kind of perfect weather, really. It's cloudy. It rained all morning, but now it's just chill. It's still like 30 degrees while it's cloudy. So no complaints really at all. But yeah, let's just take a second. Let's chill. Let's, let's smoke, you know, I assume that not many people are smoking along with me, but if you are, uh, make sure to come at 1125 and let's take a community rip together here, boys. Cheers, everybody. Oh, the head rush is hitting. That's how long it took me to start to get a head rush. I had to smoke one and a half cigarettes for me to actually feel any head rush at all. It's pretty good, probably, because if you smoke cigarettes every day, you probably don't get a head rush at all. Like, I don't really get a head rush from vapes, except for when I wake up in the morning, always get the best dome then, because you haven't used it for so long. And then when I go to the gym, it's like probably the only time I'm not vaping either. So that's like a nice like hour and a half, two hour window. The rips after that are always insane in the change room. This one, it actually packs a punch, man. This shit hits like a hammer. Whew. Like you really gotta, you need to have like a water bottle on deck. I'm actually using the uh, the Life Straw water bottle as a stand for this this video. If you guys saw my setup, it's actually fucking hilarious. But that's why I'm drinking our reserves, the premium. James might not be happy about this, but what can you do? Okay, we're almost done this cigarette here, guys. We got a couple more puffs, and then we're gonna end off the video. So let's just uh, just crank it out. Oh, it really, like, you know how, like, I just keep relating it to weed because it's what I know the best for when it comes to smoking. But, you know, when you get to the end of a joint, down to the roach, and that shit hits, this shit is hidden. Oh, man. I got to say, if cigarettes were more affordable, I probably would have never quit in the first place. Like... That's how I, I originally got addicted to nicotine was from cigarettes when I was younger and obviously you should never do that it's a terrible idea but I gotta say that the Canadian government rising the prices of cigarettes all the time definitely deterred me from wanting to smoke because when I first started smoking it was like ten dollars a pack and that was twelve dollars then it was fourteen dollars then it was fifteen dollars and then now I think it's around twenty dollars for the ones that I liked I like to smoke Belmont so pretty tasty clean cigarette but with those kind of prices you know twenty dollars a day when you can literally just buy a pod system buy a bottle of juice all in like what fifty sixty dollars and that's gonna last you for weeks so it just makes more sense financially and health wise of course but yeah we're on the last hit now um thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos not quite like this most likely but you know similar make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the post notification bell on um and yeah that's basically it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, take this last hit it's a very it's a dire hit but and yeah that's basically it guys thank you guys so much for watching once again i said that like three times but whatever hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day peace